Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute. Today I'm excited to bring you a fitness video on how to do the kettlebell swing correctly. I am going to go through all the techniques and fundamentals of how you should stand, how you should swing the kettlebell so that you stay safe and get the most out of doing this incredible exercise. But before we get going, please hit that like and subscribe button. I tell you what, we've been getting a lot of great feedback on our YouTube channel and we greatly appreciate it at VGI. So let's get going. All right, I'm gonna start out with the fundamentals of how I learned it at the CrossFit kettlebell certification that I did several years ago. And I tell you what, I didn't realize how bad, I'm, how many bad habits I had in doing the kettlebell swing. But we're gonna do the movements and everything and the setup without a kettlebell at first. So let's start from the ground up and I'll talk about each position. Feet should be about shoulder width. I like to flare my toes out just a little bit. Okay, knees should be in an athletic stance, just like if you were in a golf posture or a baseball posture. The hips should be just a hip hinge back, just like in golf, baseball. And then our back should be really straight. Okay, so then from the side here, so you can see it. Knee flex, hip hinge back, and you can see that my back is straight. All right, so those are important. Now, when we get into the movement here, the hips are what makes the kettlebell move. It's not our arms lifting it. There will be a little bit of that, but the movement and the momentum of the kettlebell moving to eventually overhead is caused from the hips. So from that standpoint, I tell you what, some of the benefits of doing the kettlebell movement correctly are hip explosion in a golf swing, hip mobility, your VO2 max, you're uh, improving, that's what your cardiovascular endurance, coordination, agility, flexibility, mobility, strength, power, all these things, your accuracy, all these things improve with doing this, these movements, all right? So I'm gonna start out with the Russian swing, but we're gonna do the movement first of how the hips should work. So when we get in this position here, we should just simply, I want you to just jump. Just jump, and you can see I'm straight up and down. We don't wanna be leaning back. I will go into some common faults after I show you how I want you to do it correctly first. So we're just gonna from here, then jump. That's the movement, okay? So that's how we do it, and then we get a kettlebell. We're actually gonna go use our hips to make it move. We're not gonna pull first. Have our hips unhinge and just like jumping, then we're gonna have the, the rush swings just only going halfway and we're gonna let our elbows slightly unhinge. We don't keep them straight, okay? Okay, in this position here. Okay. And I always try to put it down like if I was doing a deadlift, keep my back straight, squat down. All right, so you can see the movements there. It's, tell you what, once you get the momentum and the rhythm of it, it's a beautiful movement. You can see my elbows are like this. They're not pointing outwards. Just the same as I've taught in other videos with the push-up, want our elbows straight back. That is a safe position for our shoulders. And you can see that when the kettlebell came back down, I just let my hips unhinge back, okay? so. To go overhead, we're just gonna continue the movement. We're just gonna let it go up. Arms are gonna go over our head. Now, from a safety standpoint, if you have not done this movement before, you do not need to have much weight at all. And if you do have any weight, you need to make sure somebody's spotting you because there is, you don't want weight over your head if you're not used to it. But I'm gonna use some weight here and show you the movement. But the kettlebell should look like this at the top, okay? Straight up and down. We don't want it this way or that way. And when we get to the top, the arm should be pushing to the sky like this, and the arm should be behind the ears like this, which the kettlebell will, be, kettlebell will be straight in line with our vertebrae, okay? We don't want our arms forward. We don't want to be too far back. That would not be safe for our shoulders or if the kettlebell, kettlebell did happen to drop. That's not what we want to have happen, okay? So I'll show you a couple right here. Turn my hat around here so I don't hit my hat off. Okay, turn around this way. Okay, tell you what, it's a great movement. 
So take your time to do that. I'll show you at the end a book that I recommend. So stick around for that. And I'll tell you what, uh, it's the gentleman that taught me how to do the kettlebell swing, Jeff Marton, at the uh, kettlebell certification. All right, let's talk about some of the common things that I see wrong, and it's quite all over the board. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's, you see in the gyms. First thing is people lifting like this without using their hips. Okay, we don't want to do that. You're going to hurt your arms. Second thing is if they do do their hips, this is probably the most common. See too much of this where they lean back, and this is not good for your back. Okay? So you do that over and over, and you lean back. Remember, we want to just go straight up. Okay, so the other thing is the arms stay straight. I was guilty of both of those. Leaning back and arms going like this. All the way up, arms staying straight like that. Remember, the elbows are gonna slightly bend, come up, and then they come down, look how my elbows are here like that. That's important, you can see that. And then when I get down to this position, boom, it unhinges. All right, so the arms staying straight, leaning back, coming down, the arms staying straight. And then also squatting or bending over from the back too much. Those two things are just prevalent when watching people do this movement. They go too much like that. Okay, or they go, this is not a squat movement. If you're doing the kettlebell swing, it's a hip hinge back, slight forward flexion with your back, but it's nothing bending over or getting rounded in the back, okay? So how I showed you how to do it is the correct way, and those are the Russian swing and the American swing where you go over your head. All right, so there's other things you can do too. I'm gonna to give you a taste of some stuff you can do. You can do one arm swings and then alternating hands. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so you can do one arm swings like this. Okay. And then you can do alternating, and this is more advanced. I'm just showing you some of the stuff you can do. Okay, and take, it's pretty cool movement. It works your uh, cardiovascular strength, your core, and uh, I tell you, it's just fun. But there's other things. The Turkish get up would be a whole nother video lesson in itself, just how to do the Turkish get up. But that's an incredible movement. That probably took us a couple hours at certification just to learn how to do that movement. All right, so other things like I do push ups, I'll show you push ups with it, and then some man makers. <coughs> So you can do push-ups like that, okay? And then you can do some man makers, which are, and you can do these with dumbbells, but it's different with steadying the kettlebell down here when you do push-ups. But a man maker would be like this. Okay? Again, those are more advanced, just showing you what you can do with them. All right, that's just a taste of it. I um, hope you enjoyed these movements. Go back and watch how to set up and how to do the Russian swing and American swing and get at it and learn how to do this and you'll reap the rewards and benefits of doing the kettlebell swing. Okay, I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, I'll tell you what, I love instructing how to do the kettlebell. I love using it in my workouts. The benefits I've seen, it's just incredible with my flexibility and mobility and not getting injured. I have, knock on wood, I've never been injured in the 10 years I've been really working out and kettlebells, I use them every week in um, and, and my workouts and interval training. So the book I was talking about is by Jeff Martone and it's Kettlebell RX. Tell you what, it's an incredible book. I look at it all the time. The illustrations are incredible. And I tell you what, I mean, I just went through eight, seven, eight minutes of video. And I tell you what, that's, that's just a starting point. You need to really dive into this and get educated on how to do it or find someone that can a fitness instructor that is certified in kettlebell training like I am and actually help you get started. I just wanted to highlight how awesome a movement is and get you started and hopefully get you your spark your interest in wanting to learn how to do the movement. All right. So, hey, if you like this video, please share it, like and subscribe. We really do appreciate it at Barnhill Golf Institute. And for more great videos, vlogs and blogs, please watch BarnhillGolf.com.